At the Greek army camp outside Nicosia, where even the palm trees are decorated in the national colours, President Makarios, with sirens blaring and carloads of bodyguards in attendance, came to say a mass in memory of the men killed in the Ioka campaign against the British in the 1950s. The president was once again meeting his opponents head on. He's recently said mass in the village where General Grievous was born. And at the camp are stationed many of the Greek officers who backed the general against the archbishop. President Makarios, in his capacity as archbishop and head of the Cypriot Orthodox Church, led the prayers for the Ioka men. His dispute with Grievous now is over his decision that Enosis, union with Greece, the ideal which was at the centre of the Ioka campaign, is not practical. Officially, the Greek officers are neutral, but many make little secret of their support for the general as rumours of coups multiply and the 75-year-old guerrilla leader reactivates his former terrorist organisation. The previous generation of Ioka men, who died when the Archbishop and the General were colleagues, were remembered by bursts of automatic fire. President Makarios has no hesitation in alleging now that the general, who dominated for four years the Ioka fight against the British, is preparing, as he puts it, conspiratorial and terrorist activities to overthrow the government. As the struggle between the two men intensifies, there are no signs that the Archbishop is in any way intimidated by the threats to himself and his government that General Grievous now presents.